positive, have I? Well, I, I don't know, mate. I think there are issues to be mental with. Somebody did say to me that I may have got some mental issues. Really? And I was very perturbed about that. And I thought, well, there's only one person I can ask about that. And I thought I'd ask your opinion, Steve. What do you think on that? Well, <laughs> mental issues, mate. That's something that... My sequel's coming down, mate. Fuck it out. Steady on, old chum. Come in, blood vessels is bursting. Oh, 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 mental issue. You think you've got mental issues, do you, well, mate? This is what I was said. I was told. I was told that I could have mental issues. Well, that wasn't very nice. No, it wasn't. It was not very nice. Who said it, mate? Guess who? I don't know. Gary. Did he? Yeah. He's your son, mate. I know he is. I said to him, I said, I'm ashamed to say that you're coming for my loins. <laughs> Your girded loins at that? Yeah. Girded loins. Hey, not girded loins. Yeah. That's it, not sir loins. Well, I did say another word after that, but I ain't going to say to you <laughs> what I did say. You can imagine what it was, can you? He can be an angry young man at times. Yes. I think he got too much testosterone in him. Testosterone? Yeah. Yes. Trust, tis, tis, tis. I tried to explain to him. Testosterone. That. Why drive 50 mile an hour when you can drive it 30 mile an hour? And the stuff in the back will stay still, and also you put less stress and strain upon your braking system because if you're driving faster, you've got to brake harder to stop. Isn't that what not? Granted, mate, granted. I'll tell you exactly. something else, mate, too. Both, mate. You wear out less parts by going slower. Exactly, exactly. Are you I, not? He doesn't seem to understand that I can get from A to B in the nearly a reasonable time of driving it 30 mile an hour as if I was driving it 50 mile an hour. That's common, that's the laws of physics, Matt. Yeah. Just because the speed limit says 50 mile an hour, it doesn't mean to say you've got to go 50 mile an hour, does it? Well, there's an awful lot of things, equations to be had, you're met. Um, equations? You know, they you think... Know I love them, I, I quite like a pack of them now and again. Oh, equations? Yeah. yeah cheese ones, they're yeah. bloody lovely. They're lovely. Sometimes you can buy one and get one free. God, <laughs> oh, that's bloody good, isn't that? It is, mate. It is. It's a lovely day and this is off on our expedition here now. Yeah, we are. This is off to a place where it's going to get some wood. Yes. And I don't mean the sexual kind of wood either. Never thought about it like that. What? Why would you say sexual kind of wood? Well, in America they say when you get wood, you get an erection. I am at one of them for a long time. Funny enough, Matt. Neither have I. Nearest, Must be my time in life, Matt. Yeah. The nearest I see an erection is a steel girder growing up. Well, I think my days are numbered, mate, for erections. Yeah. I hate to admit it, but I, there you are. I don't know what it is, old chum. When it comes to this time of life, you don't seem to be able to get the old um, wigwam mornings, do you? <laughs> That's bloody true, mate. I used to play tents when I was younger. Yeah. I used to like making a tent in the bed. It used to be bloody fun. Yeah. And I used to have a torch down there to see what was going on That's as well, right. mate. You could just lay in bed and you could, you could have a right old TP. <laughs> those were the days. Yeah, those were the days, old chum. Sure are they not? When you could put your both hands around your willy and still have another stick another inch or so on the top, and nowadays <laughs> it's whether you can put two fingers around the bloody thing. <laughs> I don't know, old chum. Right, it's a lovely day, I must say. This is going to be fun, I, I know it is. I that's, know it is. That's always a bloody fun when us go off on expedition. When we go out on expedition. You can be sure of that. And us have got promises of baking butties on, yes. on the... Yes. Yes. Hey, Miss Matt. I said to Mark, I said, what's the chances, Mark, of you putting the frying pan on and doing us a couple baking butties? He said, well, I'll see what I can do, old chum. There's a thing. I said, well, if not, we'll go down to the old jolly pirate place down in Coomarden and have something to do down there. I said, don't worry, Marco, if you can't, we can go down there. And I said, I know for a fact there's a lovely old lady down there who serves up a lovely, lovely, plenty breakfast. I've had it a number of times now, and it's plenty fantastic. And her cook's the most beautiful sausage I've ever tasted, mate. <laughs> hey, I'll tell you something else, mate. What, mate? This is in the wrong lane, you're. Why? <laughs> oh no, I'm going another way, mate. Oh, you, 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 I'm going to. Oh, I better wait. Wait at red, <laughs> red traffic lights. I'm going to take you away that I, I usually go because I travel this road very often. In fact, often more. Oftener. Yeah. It's, Here we go. It's got a chap beside us near. He's looking a bit mad. Yeah, bloody twat. Here he goes, racing off. He's using gallons of fuel. Yeah. What a twat. What a fucking twat. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. 
Is it turn it off here for a second and come back to it in a minute. Shall it not? We can. We can always return back. 